one has the case on it. Motors, of course, propellers. We got the tri propellers, tri blades. You could use two regular ones. Um, right here, you see the receiver. And then right here, you see the flight controller. And also, you see the distribution board for the power. Here, you see your uh, speed controllers. In this case, this one is 30 amps. This one was one of the first ones I built, and then I upgraded it. I put more powerful motors on it. I changed the speed controllers. Before it used to be like 10 amps, now I got 10 amps. So this thing goes very fast. And we also do a little bit of robotics with them. Like we're going very fast, we made loops, rolls, we made loops, and we see that just like you on a roller coaster, because you seem to the goggles, it's like you go whoopee, you know, <laughs> uh, and things like that. But it's, it's very, very good. This is one of the final products. Those are toys. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to do now, put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start this up. I'm not going to, of course, I'm not going to operate it. But I, I just want to show you the video. When some of us started this hobby, you know, as far as the drums, about three years ago, this is the first thing I bought, a monitor. And at the park or behind my house when I was, you know, trying the equipment, you will see me look at the monitor. I have the aircraft right there, like, just like it is. I'm over here like, you know, don't know. And then when I went up, I'm over here like nervous because I'm seeing the aircraft, but I saw looking at the monitor to see what it's doing. And we find out that just going ahead and put your goggles on and going forward is the easiest way to do it. I suppose be watching this. So now I use this in my workshop. Just one testing. I got it hanging on the wall so I can see what I'm doing and fix it or why not. Or if somebody see want to see what I'm doing, I just say, look in there. That's what I'm going through. But I'm not using it personally for flying anymore because it's, it's flying here. You are like, you know, you get, get you confused. Get you confused. Also, we build a, which I didn't bring it, we build a big uh, briefcase with a 19 inch TV in it to do the same thing. And I never used it, it's just sitting at the house because we never, uh, but it's good to show other people. You know, I can bring it to, to a shop and show uh, what we're flying. So, anyhow, let me go ahead and plug this in. I got power, yeah. This is the one that talks to me. Let me see what it says today. Welcome to OpenTX, Daniel. Don't crash, please. <laughs> so, what's the warning? So, Flight mode one. So, it has a screen on it. Mm -hmm. And then, when you select, it shows you which airplane you're flying. Okay. So, oh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, does that control just one drum or can it control multiple? No, this one can put about with the SD card in here. I can't put as many as I want to. Uh, the memory has 30. Okay. And uh, for example, my main radio I got on the memory already, because like he said, I got quite a few airplanes. So I'm already spending on the SD card. So I got quite a few. Oh, okay. But memory internally is 30, and then you put SD, SD card in there, card. you can put 100, 500, and okay. Yeah. So anyway, so you turn the radio on first. This has a safety feature that unless you move the stick to the right, it's not going to start up. See you guys right there? So see when I'm flying, see I go around like that, like I go through the loop really fast. And that's what you're going to see. Okay? Now, when I'm flying with the goggles on, I put this thing. Okay, you can look, yeah, try to grab here through the middle. Just let that behind. You see it? I see. Uh, oh, snap. <laughs> if you look in there, like on top of the screen in the middle, you see like 16 point something. Yes. That's the voltage of the battery. Yeah. And I think on the right, that's where I got my minutes. You know, it tells you how long you've been flying. Why not? I see Mrs. Khan. Yeah, she's it's my I'm pointing to her right now. Oh. Okay, 
do I need? Nothing, just, just pass it on to the next person. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, here's the same thing on the watch. Oh. Hold oh, it. that's lit. This is the antenna for the watch. That's really cool. You know, like... Same thing. So you're flying? Oh, crap. I think you just... <laughs> <laughs> You Initially, know. that's why you feel like you're feeling dizzy because of that, but you really don't. I don't know why, but when somebody is seeing it, that's you feel dizzy. But when you fly, you, you're good. Do you have to wear that apparatus when you fly there? Yes. No, you don't have to. No, but that's good. But that's why we fly because this is so small, so it flies out. You don't know which way you're going. Right. You don't know if it's going this way, that way. Yeah. So with that on, you know exactly where it's going. Mm -hmm. It just looks funny like it has eyes in the front, <laughs> with antennas sticking out. Mm -hmm. I do have a question. Yes, sir. <clears throat> How many, in, in uh, the advertisement for some of these drones, mm -hmm. they say that, you know, one person can look at it, and another one they say two people can, uh, and in the, the, world of astronomy with the cameras they say you know up to 10 people can look at something on wi-fi so i'm not sure why you can't have many look at it rather than one or two like you've got one two three going here right you follow what i'm saying so what i think basically because on the channel i am i got this all in the same channel right but for example, when you're on the racing, they got what's called racing band. And then, of course, you're going to be in a different channel as far as the video. So is she, him. We are going to be in different channels. And so so what, we, we don't interrupt each other. The question is, if that signal is going all over, mm -hmm. why can't we set up 10 of those around and all 10 of them pick up the signal? Yeah, we, we can. I mean, well, right now, okay. yeah. Yeah, as long as you use the same channel. one that I've got, yeah. kit, or not kit, mm -hmm. but it comes in a box. It says up to two people can look at it. Mm -hmm. you know? So they always seem to be limiting the number of people that can see uh, the video. Uh, these here and in other cameras too. And I'm, it just seems to me that as many as are around could, the signal's all over. So every every device could pick it up. Right, and I think that's because of the vendor is restricting the uh, the signal going out of that particular aircraft. Because on this one, if you look on this receiver I got in here, I got different um, switching buttons. Right. And with this one, I can program up to 32 different channels. Right. And and of course, on that one, it's by the button. I can go ahead, and this one, I can set it 32 channels as well. Right. So I think what it is, is just like you're saying, is the vendor is restricting that particular frequency, okay. I believe. So, so, mm -hmm. Okay. And that one will get 32 channels too? This one gets 32. Uh -huh. Yeah. One thing I was telling him, I don't know if you heard, but when we go out racing, uh, when we find our flying field, it's only about eight or ten guys, and you know, when we get together, we already got a pre-assigned uh, channel for video. Now mine is Alpha A, the other guy is Charlie A, or, or why not? So of course we're not going to be interfering for, with one another. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, I think that's pretty much what I got. Uh, Delimitry lost. I'd be glad to uh, answer any questions you may have, or any in interesting um, anything that they didn't cover. Okay. Where do you fly? You Where do I fly? Where? Um, depending on the weather, and we go over here, we get a flying field at the Union Grove Park, mm -hmm. going to Barcelona by 2484, I think it's FN, FN 2484. We got a flying field over there. And what we did, we have our own runway for airplanes and whatnot. And then toward the the south of it, we within the tree, we mow some trees down. We put some uh, uh, camel nets and tables, and we build some um, uh, loops with PVC piping. And we use some of those swimming pool noodles, different mm -hmm. colors, mm -hmm. and we fly through them. Oh, That's what we fly at. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> In addition to that, going back to the technology itself, this is just drone, but we also already flying airplanes. We actually take off and land with airplanes. Um, we put the airplane on the ground, we sit on the chair, and just like you saw in the video here, sit on the table, you know, you saw the, the greenish of the table. There we see the grass, and we just, better or that, we just go take off. We fly on the field, and we land straight from. I've seen there. it with Hoover. With Uber? Mm -hmm. Hoover. Mm, okay. He, 
was related to us once. Oh, his, okay. His grandson was married to our daughter. Oh, okay. No okay. longer, but we still mm -hmm. are, we share a grandson together. Okay. Hubert Beer? I saw his plane fly a long time ago, right. and I, I couldn't believe it. I th we were at Fort Hood somewhere a long time ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he had a red one and a yellow one or mm -hmm. some, something. <laughs> So that's what we do. We, we put a, I got a glider, the, the wingspan over two meters. <clears throat> I have two cameras. I got one in the front and then I got one at the bottom. So when I'm flying, all I got to do is I want to look at the ground. I flip the switch right here and then poop, I look in straight at the ground, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. can spy on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then in addition to that, one thing I want to mention it is that there are so many companies out there. Uh, this is the thing of the moment, the drones. I mean, you hear on the news, you hear about this and that. On that, you also got to play the safety factor because there's individuals out there, they go and buy a, a drone from online or any place now, and then they just go and fly any place. And that's okay to a point, but you got to keep in consideration when you're flying on airports, you know, the certain restriction by the FAA. You know, there's so many, I think it's uh, three or five miles away from the airport that you're able to fly, and also it's the 400 uh, uh, altitude rule. You know, you can't fly above 400 feet because it might interfere with commercial aircraft. And um, that's one thing they don't tell you, you know, the, the vendors, they don't want to sell the product, but we at the club, we own the, the rules and regulations of the FAA. For example, this one right here, I got that sticker right here, that number was required by the FAA now that if you own any flying object you are registered with the FAA. What they do, you get your information and they give you a number and that number goes in all your aircrafts. And the reason for that is <clears throat> if somebody goes out there and do something they're not supposed to do and they cause any type of injury or accident, particular to an uh, aircraft, then they'll be able to find out who the aircraft belongs to. Yeah. So you get one number so each <coughs> each aircraft you have, each drone has the same number. Same number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this number, if you look it up, that number is registered to me. Right. Mm -hmm. Just like do with the guns and everything else. And also, um, the other thing is, when you start building this, you gotta be really careful about who you buy from, and that's in relation to electronics. There's a lot of knockoff out there. There's thousands of knockoff. For example, this one right here, this light control, this one is a Nace 32 BOF. Well, if you go on eBay, for example, I, I don't remember how much I pay for this, but the average price is about $20, $30, you know, from a legit tender. You go online, eBay, on some of the places in there, you might be able to find one like this one for 12 bucks. So that's a red flag right there. You know, because if you're shopping around, that's normally what you do. You start looking at this side, that side, and see which one gives you the best price. So when you see a significant price drop from an item that you saw here at 25, the other guy got it for 30, so that's average. Go to this guy, this guy got it for 12 bucks. <coughs> it's gonna be a knockoff. And what's gonna happen, and I, I, I went through that, in fact, I'm working on one right now. Um, it flew good for, I don't know, three flights. And last time I went to fly, it was flying in reverse. Like, <laughs> so I had to, I had to, I had to dump it. I just went hit on the on the ground because it was going out of my my way. And um, that's what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. You have any other questions in relation to this? Yeah, I got one. Yes. You call it a knockoff, but do they actually lie and they still call it by the real name? But yes, it's a knockoff. Mm -hmm. They they'll lie about it. Yes, they do. What, what needs to happen is when you see a, a product on electronic in relation to what we're speaking about, uh, go to a recognized vendor. You know, you, you'll be able to tell because, uh, you know, it's, for example, we got Tower Hobbies, Ready May RC, uh, Horizon Hobby, those companies being around for the longest. And, and see if this product is, is sold by those individuals. Uh, again, I just use that as, as an example. If they are, that means it's a legit product. But you go over here online, you find from Mr. Doc Buck, that come, 
you know, find out about the website. You know, go in there and check about most of the websites at the bottom that you, uh, who are we, or contact us. See, you know, go in there and click and see who they are. How long they be in business? But it, it happens. It happens to all of us. In fact, uh, one of my bigger planes, uh, I crashed uh, last year. It, it was uh, because of that. Yes. Any other questions? Was you showing, is that a kit there? Yes. This one you open, or I get a picture of the, the kit. So I know. And also, the answer all your questions. All the questions that you have, answer the questions? For example, I want to talk to you about that kit since you got it on your hand. Uh, that came from uh, a good company, Horizon Hobby King. And back in October, they had a 24 hour sale. 24 hour sale. And uh, they were selling those kit for $1. Oh, snap. So, you know, I bought a few. Uh, they're not the greatest, but for what we're doing, you know, crashing and learning and stuff like that, it, that's a good investment, you know. <coughs> you don't want to buy like a $500 You put one of those kits together. You kind of I'll make one. I want to elaborate a little bit, if I forget, about the photography drones. I got one. Uh, it's called a DJI. It's a top-of-the-line um, company. And the way it works is it comes with its own transmitter. And then what you do, <clears throat> you download the software for, for the aircraft on your phone. Mm -hmm. And let's say I want to fly in this area. So I click in there, and then it's going to 